Nighttime design is, by its nature, time-based design. Nighttime is a very special time because the activities in public space change from the daytime. Nighttime design is a process. It's a way of approaching the configuration of an urban space at night. It's much more an approach, a responsibility to know about a place and about a particular place before designing. Bringing to bear all the expertise and experience that professionals but also residents have in order to achieve a good livable space that makes sense to all kinds of users. Lighting design and social research both need a great deal of methodological creativity and innovation. We need to find different ways, new ways, to bring together social knowledges, spatial knowledges, and design practices. The premise for the research in Hetzemani was a question. How can we build better communities with light? One of the, the main goals we had with this research right in the beginning was to, to ask, how can social research inform design? How can it influence it? The first phase of our research in Hetzemani was very much focused on understanding the dynamics of the place, its history and the kinds of changes that people were experiencing. Hetzemani como eh, problema dentro de su desarrollo urbanístico está viviendo pues un desplazamiento urbano que es gentrificación y dentro de ese desplazamiento urbano cada día hay menos hetzemanicenses. Arquitectónicamente las fachadas y las mismas casas están cambiando mucho y están creando una diferencia visible entre ricos y pobres. La noche es, es un momento en que estas tensiones se, se hacen más evidentes. Areas in Hetzemani are very well traveled at night. The public squares such as Trinidad with its food trucks with a very bright light which is like a stage. The light on the street is primarily from the shop doors and windows through the grills which create rich shadows and light. Other side streets have very dark pockets. Fewer people walking, more people in the shadows, and the primary light comes from the residential doors which are open. Durante la noche en Getsemaní se ven muchas actividades, es mucha vida, y eso significa que también hay luz, porque todas las actividades implican luz en la noche. Y esa diversidad se podría ver desde afuera como algo caótico. In the first phase of the research here in Hetzamini, we collected a lot of information. That information includes the colors of the houses, what people do here, the activities, how the spaces are used at night, what kind of light fixtures are out here. And we realized that a lot of them are actually traditional looking lanterns. You can't just design a fixture and put it out there. We have to make it local. We have to think about how can it be not really customized, but localized, so that people feel it's part of their district. What if we could localize a modern universal lantern that speaks to the future, but speaks to the locale? To gain the participation of professionals and citizens into this new discipline, nighttime design, it's important to impart the expressive qualities of light so that people can make it their own. We had created a kit of colors, diffusers, and ideas from our workshop and from our professional point of view of design. We presented those to our community stakeholder group. This group was extensively varied. Government, local artists, cultural organizations, designers, and residents. Another important part of the pilot for us, bringing all of these different lanterns that have different designs and that have, that have different colors, was giving people choices. Putting things next to each other gives people something to speak to, something to compare and contrast. And that is a very successful way to initiate a discussion about what people really want, what works, and how much easier it is to convince people when you have a prototype, a live situation that you can walk them through.
It was exciting to see how the community got involved. They were a part of the process from the beginning. And as we exhibited our work, we saw that actually we did listen to the people. And it did feel like that what we designed was actually part of the community. Citizen participation and local programs will influence and create new nighttime experiences. We cannot be planning for, for cities based on recipes and based on a, you know, a plan and the geometry and the set of calculations, catalog of products. We need to go there, check the reality uh, for us to do good designs. These are designs that last longer. For a better nighttime design practice, we must find a way to accept the fact that nighttime design is for the people who inhabit our cities and therefore increase our methods to include participatory design. Mm -hmm.